Welcome to your 31st tutorial on beginning Java. Today we're going to look at getters and setters. And these are very, very important in the world of Java. And not just Java, but pretty much any programming language that you want to learn. What getters and setters do is they basically encapsulate your data. Specifically, you want to encapsulate your variables from the outside world. And basically what that means is you will determine the values that people use to set your variables with. So think of it like an invisible shield around this variable. And basically you're saying you will use this value and this value only, and that's all I will allow you to use. Value or values if you want to establish a range. And I will show you that. Now you might be asking yourself, well wait a minute. I already know what the value I want for this is. Well, imagine that you have hundreds of objects, hundreds of methods all over the place, and many of them are calling this orc object that we're going to create. Well, you have to assume that some developers may not know the values that should be used with this. And if they use a bad value, you could start crashing other objects. And worse yet, you know, crash the entire program. So that's why it's important that you encapsulate your variables. So we encapsulate this variable, and I'll show you how that's done. And right now, we've set the visibility option, right? Right? Remember the public, private, protected? We've made this public, so this is available to anybody. Anybody can come in here and change this variable directly, right? They could come in here, and let's create our orc object here. And we'll just say this is orc1. And as you can see, they can see the uh, height variable. So just imagine this is a main map, and it has all this code, and it fires up the world. And in this world, we're going to add orcs. And we want the height of this orc to be less than 10 feet. It can't be any greater. And the reason is, let's assume we have some caves in this world. And the roof of this cave, let's say, is, is you know is 10 feet tall. Well, if that's the case, and we make an orc that's 20 feet tall, well, he's not going to be able to get into that cave. And worse yet, we might crash or bring down the whole world. So that's the case. Our orcs have to be shorter than 10 feet. So let's go over here. And of course, we could call the orc variable directly, you know, and set that if we wanted to, to whatever we want to. But we're just going to use the method that we set up. So we'll do, you know, our famous system.out.print. And we will pass in the, the, the value that we want to set the height to. So let's go orc1. Dot, and we'll use our method, get height. And we will say that orc is nine feet. Well, that's good. Everything's going to work out. Let's go ahead and run this. And we got nine feet, and everything's great. And of course, the value was passed in here. And if you remember from the previous tutorials, we go ahead and we switch the scope here. So it's not the local variable. We're using this class level variable. And we set it to nine here, and we returned it right here and it was printed out over here. And everything's hunky-dory because we have all these orcs running around and they're at nine feet tall and they're running around the world's just great. Well, later on a new programmer comes along and decides to, uh, you know, add an expansion pack, expansion.java. So, you know, he creates an expansion object to handle all of that and uh, he's gonna decide to add orcs too. So he's gonna go ahead and create his new expansion pack. And so he comes along and creates his new orc for the expansion pack. And everything's defined and everything's fine. And then he decides to go ahead and add a height of 15. And let's just assume that that orc tried to go into one of the caves and lo and behold, everything came down because he passed a bad value. Now, keep in mind, we didn't stop it over here, right? It went through, nothing stopped us from running. But let's just assume through all our fictitious code that his expansion map was crashed. Ours was okay because, you know what, our orcs were fine. They were running around at 9 feet tall, but his orcs were 15 feet tall, and that crashed everything. So we come along and say, hey, uh, you know, whatever this developer's name is, uh, Larry, um, you have to keep your uh, orcs at 9. And then you say, you know what, I've got to lock some stuff down now. So let's, let's do that. And you might come along and say, okay, let's set this visibility option here to private. And that's good now because, you know, he's, he can't come along here now and set the variable directly. He'll have to go through the method. Notice we can't see the uh, variable anymore. That's good. So that's gone. It's only available in the class. That's fine. But the problem is uh, you'll notice he can still go through the method, right? And that is the main problem here. He could still go ahead and set this. So this is where getters and setters come into play. So we could force him to go through some methods that will basically enforce the fact that he has to have his orc's height lower than 10 feet. And so we have to actually set up two methods to accomplish that. We need a set and then a get. We've already got the get, but we're going to actually pull some stuff out of here because all this is going to do now is return the height. 
So first thing we'll do is actually set up another method here and we'll say public void. Now we're going to use the void keyword here because we're not going to return anything. All this is going to do, this method we're setting up here is set the height. It's not going to return it. We're going to actually keep this get height method and this one will actually return the value that we set in here. So we're going to call this set height and then what we're going to do is actually just pull this now and put it up here in our set because we want to we're going to use this one to actually set the value and we're going to go ahead and make this height and we're going to set up a placeholder in here remember this is just a placeholder so that when the value comes in here it'll get passed to here so we're going to call this height and again we're using the this keyword because we want to work against the class level variable not the local variable we want the class level variable that's the variable that we're going to set the value to the height to and so this is pretty good, right? We're, do, we're, we're moving along here. And since our get method is just returning something, we no longer need to pass that in, right? From the calling method, the method that we're gonna call over here, we're not calling this one, remember? We are now going to issue our call from over here to the set method, and then he will set the value here, and then the get one will just return it. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this parameter, and we're moving along, right? We've got our two methods. Remember, get and set, always two methods, two methods, and that's what we need. And then what we're going to do is actually kick out a, uh, a nice little message here to say, hey, you met the criteria. So let's go back over here. And actually, this should have been an orc too. We were working against this object, but it doesn't really matter. You get the point. This was using the wrong value here. And so let's go ahead and get rid of these methods now. And we're just going to go ahead and call our set method now, right? We can't even see the variable again. So we're going to call our set method and this developer again is doing it right again. He's going to go ahead and set it to nine feet and let's just go ahead and copy and paste this over here to save time. But this other developer doesn't learn his lesson and goes ahead and sets his orc again to 15 feet. Well, we're going to stop him right with our set method and we have to switch this to two. And actually, let's go ahead and do a return of the height as well. So we'll do a system.out.print and we'll say orc1 dot and we'll call our get height method to print out the actual height. And we'll do the same down here. And we're going to go ahead and run this. And this guy right here is going to get stopped. Uh, let's hope. And we run it. And he did not get stopped. Wow. It met the criteria and he was allowed to go ahead and create his 15 foot orc. Well, let's go back and see what happened here. And what happened is, yes, we went ahead and did our set height method, but what did we really do here? We let the value come in here, and we just went ahead and assigned the value to up here. We didn't stop him, right? This is where we need a if-else conditional statement, where we put a condition in there that gives the range of feet that you can assign to this value, to the height of the orc. So let's go ahead and do that. We need to say if and you'll recognize this from the previous tutorials when we did our if conditional statements and we're going to say height less than 10 pretty simple right you have to be less than 10 feet and then let's go ahead and put in our else down here and we'll put in a bracket actually we need a bracket up here too and then this is what we're going to break to if somebody puts in the wrong height and we're just going to do a system out here and say please enter a height under 10 feet there we go and we need a closing bracket here and a another closing bracket right here i believe and we're good to go so let's go over to our main map and let's go ahead and run this again and you'll notice that this orc met the criteria and he was allowed to be assigned nine feet and you'll notice here we got our else it broke to the else and said hey please enter a height under 10 feet and nothing gets assigned that actually is a null and let's go take a look at this so what happened is on the first one the value was passed in here and then it hit this conditional the height was under 10 feet right and this says hey assign the value of nine to here and we're going to kick out a message that says your orc met the criteria and thus we got the output right here 
And so what happened to this one is if we go back over here, it came into here and it did not match this. So, and basically it just stops right here, breaks to this else, and it printed out this. It says, please enter a height under 10 feet. And then of course it returned zero. Now, why did it return zero? Because think about it. This is where we're doing the assignment right here. But since this condition was not matched, there is no value assigned. And if you remember in previous tutorials, I said when a variable gets initialized and there's no value to it, it'll be initialized to null or zero. So nothing got assigned to it. And therefore, that's why this system.outprint shows zero. So if we go back here, uh, and actually let's go back here and correct this and let's make him eight feet tall now and we will run this and everything is fine so the main point i want to make here is that now everything has to funnel through this set height method he is kind of like the gatekeeper everything has to come through here and it has to match and if it doesn't then you will be forced to correct it and if you don't correct it you're not going to have any orcs and the nice thing about this is if people go ahead and start creating all these different maps, all these different worlds, whatever, and they decide to go ahead and create orcs, you never really have to worry about them passing bad values into here again, right? Because you don't have to change anything from this point on. It all funnels through here. And so that's what getters and setters do. They encapsulate your variables and prevent people from assigning bad values to them. And I might also point out it might protect you from you. Yes, you. You may have this huge program and, you know, you might be adding some code years later perhaps maybe you're adding some new functionality many years later and you forget what the values that needed to be assigned to this were and so this will help you also kind of remember that hey you know I can't make an orc that's over 10 feet so it also helps you too as well so that's why it's always important to encapsulate your data now if this doesn't really affect anything, the value, if it's really a uh, value that you determine it's not really going to affect the runtime of your program and people can set it to whatever they want to, then you don't have to encapsulate it. So just keep that in mind too. You don't have to encapsulate everything, just values that might cause problems down the line. So that's the way you want to think about getters and setters. Okay, I will see you guys in the next tutorial.